I might leave that hole and my chimp's unstable because it's saying, you know, you didn't do a great job there. And maybe I, I made a, a joke that was near the knuckle and it was meant in sarcasm to make them laugh and it didn't come off. And I think, oh, gee, I probably offended someone. So my chimp will be, beat me up for this or try. Uh, so I stabilize my mind by saying to the chimp, hang on, you did your best. You live by your values. It's not that you didn't try. You know, you did everything you could. You got it wrong or you didn't. You weren't on form today, which no one can be every day. So get a life. And then I will bring perspective. A week from now, nobody's even bothered. The only person that will remember is you, you know. So perspective is a stabilizer of the mind. Uh, and so a lot of people, for me, it's a massive one. So again, you hear people commonly saying, How, will this matter in an hour, in a week, in a year? And for a lot of situations, it really, most situations, doesn't matter. So that's an example of one stabilizer of the mind. I love broadening time horizons like that. And it's something that I found myself really poor at doing uh, in my past, that the decision that I was making right now was going to be the decision that I would have to live with for the rest of my life, that this purchase of a car or this move to a new city or this change of a house or this makeup or breakup of a relationship or whatever it would be. It's like when you realize that most things are time bound and most things are subject to change in future, it helps to release a little bit of the pressure. And the same thing can occur for public speaking or a bad podcast. I do a bad podcast. I'm like, well, I've got two more to do this week. And in a year's time, there's yeah. going to be 150 more released. So you can't have a good podcast every single time that you do it. 